I'll now call the special council meeting to order being Friday, November the 18th, 2022 at 522 p.m. Uh, first up on the agenda is the adoption of this evening's agenda. Councillor Pearson, Councillor Blanchett, any additions? Shouldn't be. It's a special meeting. All in favor? It's carried. Uh, item 3.1, summary of the appointment process to date uh, from myself and Mr. Depineau. Uh Over to you, Mr. Administrator. Well, good evening, everyone. It is my sincere privilege to assist in moving the village through this process, which is indeed historic. Uh, to briefly bring those unfamiliar with the situation that has caused council to convene this special meeting, at the close of the extended nomination period for the general local election, which closed on September 12th, fewer nominations had been received than available positions. This triggered a seldom used portion of the Local Government Act that states council must appoint community members to those remaining vacancies. Staff worked using the limited examples available to determine best practices to facilitate this process and began conversations with the Ministry of Municipal Affairs about commonly held concerns regarding the boundary provisions dictated by the Act specific to this process. While these conversations continued, the Village opened a self-nomination process. This began on October 17th and concluded on November 7th. During this period, the village, through its communications and the office of the mayor, encouraged individuals from the immediate community to step forward despite the boundary restrictions outlined. This was done as the Minister of Municipal Affairs had been asked to grant an extension to the eligible area and that request was being reviewed at the time. On November 16th, this request to expand the boundary was granted in the form of a ministerial order and those nominees who became eligible for consideration were added to a finalized ballot of 13 individuals. This evening, Council will vote using that ballot to appoint two individuals to the vacant positions of Office of Councillor. Should additional rounds of voting be required beyond the first ballot, those individuals who were not appointed and or who are not involved in that tie after the first round will be removed from the following rounds of voting. If after three rounds of voting, two nominations have not been indicated by the ballots cast, the remaining vacancies will be determined through the drawing of lots as described under section 151 of the Local Government Act and as adapted for this process. The ad adaptation in this case being that rather than using the court to administer the drawing of lots, I along with the deputy corporate officer will execute the process before you here this evening. Thank you, Mr. Depineau. Are there any questions from sitting council? I do have just one comment. Uh, I do, uh, on behalf of council, humbly thank all that put their name forward during this uh, appointment procedure. Uh, their offer uh, to serve our community uh, in this capacity, regardless of, regardless of their residential address, uh, is to be highly commended. Uh, we truly hope collectively that the, not only the 2026 local government election reflects a similar passion to serve, but also as the call out for committee members f in this term reflects a similar passion as this term's process. Uh, and I wish all self-nominators the absolute very best in their future endeavors. Mr. Depineau. Uh, under 3.2, uh, we will ha now have a secret ballot vote uh, for two nominees to be appointed to the Office of Councillor. In a moment, I'll distribute ballots to each member of Council. Uh, at this time, I would like to remind Council that once you receive your ballot, you'll be able to select two individuals on that ballot. I ask that you shade in the circle to the name completely using the provided pen to help ensure that the privacy of your vote remains secure. Please fold your ballot in half by folding the top of the paper to the bottom, a single fold. And once you've marked and folded your ballot, please deposit it into the black box at the front of the room. Uh, prior to the proceedings, we did confirm to those present that the box is indeed empty. If there are no questions at this time, I will now distribute the ballots. No questions? Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Depineau.
If council can, please just clear your desks of any other white paper. Thank you. There's a pen up there. And you'll execute your vote up there. So at this time, you have your ballots. Uh, please confirm that they are clear and unspoiled in any way. Uh, and once doing so, we'll start off from the left, and I'd invite Councillor Pearson to please move to the podium behind the privacy screen, mark and deposit your ballot, and place it into the box when you're ready. Thank you, Councillor. Uh, continuing from the left, Your Worship, uh, I'd invite you to please move to the podium behind the privacy screen. Mark and deposit your ballots into the box of the podium when you're ready. Thank you. Do we get a sticker? So we, we need a sticker. Councillor Blanchett, at this time, <laughs> I'd like to invite you to move to the podium behind the privacy screen. Mark and deposit your ballots as directed into the box when you're ready. Let's grab this other ballot here. Thank you, Councillor. Um, at this time, Mr. Deppinell, could you please uh, tally the votes? Absolutely. Thank you, Your Worship. Under 3.3, are you able to make a de declaration of appointments to the office, office of Councillor? Your Worship, at the end of this round of voting, I confirm that two individuals have been indicated by the ballots cast. Allow me just a moment as I finish the paperwork here to move on to 3.3. Thank you.
Your Worship, moving to item 3.3 on the agenda, I declare at this time Donalda McLean and Hugo Mellick to be appointed to the Office of Counselor. Thank you very much, Mr. Kavanaugh. I'll take a moment to tear down the voting booth to allow for public comment and join you at the chair in just a moment. Thank you. Before we close 3.3, I do want to reiterate our thanks for all that put their name forward. And again, wish them the absolute very best. Looking forward to working with both uh, former Councillor McLean and uh, Mr. Mullock. So under 4.1, do we have any public comments this evening on items as listed on the approved agenda? Second call, public comments. Third call, final, uh, third and final call for public comments. Then I'll ask for adjournment, Councillor Pearson. Thank you. We are adjourned, 534.